How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Futsal Horizon 5. Series 13 has just been announced. It is a massive update and in this video I'm going to compact everything you need to know about the update. The evolving world, the festival playlist, all of the new cars, the new features, there's a lot of stuff. We're going to cover all of that in this video. If you do enjoy this video guys and it helps you out, please do consider subscribing and dropping a like so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get into Series 13. As I'm sure you're aware, Series 13 is the Horizon 10 year anniversary update, celebrating the 10 years of Horizon, because Futsal Horizon 1 released 10 years ago. I usually start off with the festival plays and all of the new cars, but I'm going to very quickly start off by talking about the evolving world. Over the next month for the whole series, each week a new festival site will temporarily, temporarily set up in Mexico in celebration of the past festivals. So summer is going to be celebrated as Forza Horizon 1. The second week, which is autumn, will be celebrated as Forza Horizon 2. Then winter will be Horizon 3 and spring will be Horizon 4, just like we predicted in my video a couple of days ago. So as you can see, it says in the summer wet season, there will be a new festival site popped up in Copper Canyon. And as you can see, it also says, be on the lookout for new collectibles in form of bonus boards. Each week, these iconic smashables can be found around the temporary festival sites of the said Horizon Festival. So that's pretty cool. So keeping that in mind when I show you the festival playlist, when I show you each week, I'm also going to show you screenshots of the temporary festival that's going to pop up um, just for that specific week. So the festival playlist, what new cars have we got? For the full series, for 80 points, you can get the Wuling Sunshine and for 160 points, the McLaren 650S Spider. Neither of these are new cars. But let's talk about the first week, which is summer. As you can see, summer is all about Horizon 1. The Forzathon Weekly Challenge is all about the Dodge Viper GTS, which is Horizon 1's cover car. Here's a few screenshots of the temporary festival, which is going to pop up during week one, all celebrating Horizon 1. Let's take a look at the cars. As we can see, for 20 points, we can get the first new car of this month, the Ferrari 599XX and for 40 points, the Plymouth Barracuda. The Forzathon shop for that first summer week, you can get things like the Shelby Cobra 427, you can get the Quick Draw Emote, the Hennessy Velociraptor, a new Horizon Colorado T, and the Legacy Rewind Car Horn. Pretty cool. Now I'm gonna show you a few more screenshots of the rest of the challenges available on that first Horizon 1. On to week two, which is autumn. Now this week is all about Forza Horizon 2. I'm gonna have a few screenshots on screen right now of the new temporary festival, which is popped up on the map during this week two. As you can see, the Forza Horizon weekly challenge is now the Lamborghini Huracan, which is the cover car for Horizon 2. So for 20 points, you can get the new Koenigsegg Agera. This is the second new car of this month returning to the game. And for 40 points, the Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. The Forzathon shop for that second week has stuff like the Bugatti Chiron, the Lamborghini Aventador SV, the Robot Emote, Horizon Europe T. So it seems like every week we'll have a new shirt based on what Horizon game it's celebrating. And then the Paint Spray Car Horn. Here are a few more screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that second week. On to the third week now, which is winter. This is obviously all about Horizon 3. Here are a few screenshots of the temporary festival that's gonna be available on the map that third week. Once again, as a reminder, these temporary festivals will only be available for that specific week. So what cars are we getting that third week? Well, for 20 points, we can get the next new car of this month, the Eagle Speedster, and for 40 points, the Hot Wheels Ford Mustang. The Forzathon shop for that third week has the Koenigsegg 1 to 1, the Nissan Pickup Rally Raid, the What's Inside Emote, the Horizon Australia T, and the Fred V Graphics Car Horn. Pretty cool. Once again, more screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that week. Now onto the fourth and final week, which is spring, which celebrates Futsal Horizon 4. We can see the McLaren Center in the weekly challenge. Here are screenshots of the temporary festival available that week. 
Now onto the new cars. So for 20 points, we can get the Aston Martin 177. That is the fourth new car of this month. There are more to come, so stay tuned. And for 40 points, you can get the Peel P50. I nearly said McLaren Peel P50 then, that would be weird, wouldn't it? Over in the Forzathon shop for that fourth week, the McLaren Speedtail is there, the RJ Anderson truck, the Air Guitar Emote, Horizon UK T, and the Horizon Mexico theme car horn which is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that car haul. Here's a few more screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that last week. That's the full festival playlist. That's four of the new cars. Let's talk about all of the new features which are coming, and there's actually quite a lot. We have the new Horizon Story and a new anniversary edition car within it. As you can see here, it says take a trip down memory lane with base arena disc jockey Scott Tyler in Horizon Origins. The newest Horizon story in Forza celebrates the history of Forza Horizon series. Across five chapters, relive some of the series' most iconic gameplay moments starting in Forza Horizon 5 as you go back in time. Complete all chapters and you'll unlock the 2013 Dodge SRT Viper GTS Anniversary Edition. This is not the Forza edition we were expecting, rather so a anniversary edition. Now I do have a little bit of a trailer to show you on screen that's sort of celebrating this car and this Horizon Story series. Midnight Battles. As you can remember, Midnight Battles is returning to Forza Horizon 5. Here's a bit of information about it here. A new Midnight Battle is unlocked for every four victories that you have within the street race scene following the Horizon 10 year anniversary update. And a total of 16 race wins are required to unlock them all, which means that there are only four Midnight Battles. The four hard to find cards which are going to be winnable through the Midnight Battles are the Ford Mustang Mach 1, the Honda Civic CRX Muggen, the 2003 Toyota Celica and the 2010 Lamborghini Murcielago. So there aren't any new cars there, just hard to find cars. As said they are adding a new radio station which is going to be called Horizon Mixtape. The Horizon Bricks Tape brings together some of the greatest music featured in the Forza Horizon series over the years. We can see on screen a list of the songs and artists and what games they're from that will be within this Horizon Mixtape new radio station. You can actually expand your playlist of iconic music by doing some of the seasonal championships on the festival playlist. This will get you more music. There is a bit of new customization coming to the game as well, or more specifically, some new car rims. ADV1 are having new rims added to the game, just as we sort of predicted in our video a couple of days ago. If you watched that, props to you. Um, but here's a list on screen of all of the new car rims coming to the game straight away in the Horizon 10 year anniversary update. You don't need to win them or anything. You're just going to be able to use them straight away. So that's a bit of new car customization coming in terms of car rims. There is a new Event Lab prop pack coming to the game and this seems pretty massive. Event Lab is expanding its blueprint builder with 97 recognizable props and structures from previous Horizon games, which are going to be divided in four categories based on each Horizon game. Some of the highlights include Horizon Festival entrances and decorations, barn finds, pipes, the iconic yacht from Forza Horizon 2 and skyscrapers from Forza Horizon 3. And yes, you can drive on top of them. So there's lots of new stuff within that Event Lab prop pack, including skyscrapers, yachts, pipes, um, steelworks and conveyor belts with snapping functionality. Really looking forward to playing around with some of them props. They are adding new achievements to the game from the New Horizon story. As we can see on screen here, there are seven new achievements, I believe. Here's what you have to do. There's the titles and there's the gamer score. They are pretty much all related to the New Horizon story. 
there are also new accolades as well quite a lot of them. I'll sort of scroll through a list on screen now of all of the new accolades. There's quite a lot. They're all related to the Horizon story, um, the festival playlist, the midnight battles, and just lots of different accolades. We can see them all on screen right now. You can see the rewards. We always love when they add accolades to the game. Now they are also adding new profile badges. You know those little badges that you can unlock by playing at multiplayer? Well, they are adding some more badges, which you don't have to play multiplayer for, in fact. And they are Horizon 1, Horizon 2, 3, 4, 5 badges. You know, like the logos that you can have next to your name. Now, that's going to be pretty cool. I want to get the 10-year badge myself. So make sure you play a lot this series because there's a lot of temporary stuff. There's the temporary weekly festival clothes, festivals that are popping up. These badges that you can only get during this uh, month, so you're not going to be able to get them if you miss out on this. Now there's one last quick thing to focus on and it's the bugs and changes. Now a few of these are quite major bugs and changes. I know lots of people have had issues with this. It's good to finally see they have sorted it. There's a few other fixes and stuff like that there. Obviously in this update there's going to be a lot more than just what's on screen, but these are some of the ones worth noting the best ones. All in all guys, it's an absolutely massive update. The, the festival playlist itself is just jam-packed full of new areas and new stuff like that, along with the new accolades, badges, bugs, rims, midnight battles, evolving. There's just so much stuff in this update. Obviously, we already kind of know what series 14 and 15 might be, so stay tuned on the channel for more information about that and check my previous videos. But yeah, that is series 13. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this update. Are you excited for it or were you having something different? Let me know. Anyway, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later. Let's talk about the first week, which is summer. As you can see, summer is all about Horizon 1. The Forza Fun Weekly Challenge is all about the Dodge Viper GTS, which is Horizon 1's cover car.